to, to start, could you introduce us to your characters in the series? Um, I play Bronwyn Trocas, and um, she is your um, archetype of a brainiac in the show who's so invested in her academics that she rarely focuses on the present um, and uh, her future is pretty much everything at this point. And uh, I play Nate McCauley and he's kind of your troubled bad boy that deals drugs and wears a lot of denim and leather rides and rides a motorcycle. Um, but you know, you, you, as as the show kind of goes on, you realize that there's there's more to Nate than, than meets the eye, and we, we peel back the layers and we see kind of what's underneath. And I think we see that for all the characters as well as the show goes on. You know, it's a story of of these four characters, um, you know, in this murder investigation and having to bond together and band together as a group against you know such challenging times. And they are the only four that understand each other. And so you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful story to be able to explore that, that dynamic. Yeah. Like you both said, you know, we're introduced to these characters as specific archetypes, but as the series unravels, we see the different layers to them. How did you both prepare to tackle your characters' arcs? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, you know, Karen, Karen McManus and, and the writers, they just, they, they did such a great job with, with this story and, and Karen kind of envisioning this world and, and, and the writers as well. Um, you know, uh, one, of the, one of the ways that I, I kind of prepared for the, the character, uh, you know, preparation and arc was I, I, would, I would have a, a journal and uh, I would kind of just write things, uh, you know, thoughts and feelings and kind of past situations that Nate has been through to kind of like just put myself back in, into that world, into like Nate's shoes and that's kind of how I prepared. And then, you know, just being able to work with such amazing people kind of makes you so present and involved in the story and, and you know it's it's an honor to be able to like say that we're such a great group of friends on and off screen and i think that's just that's just amazing yeah. it makes it yeah so much easier um i think we had such great sources to work with right. um, starting with the book that karen did such a wonderful job with um and that people love so much for that reason um, and then, you know, the writers of the show and then I think, you know, from casting, because as Cooper was saying, uh, everybody's just, I think, genuinely, I genuinely think this insanely talented in this cast and it just makes your job so much easier. So it was, it was a matter of putting yourself in, in those circumstances and um, exploring those relationships. Um, you know, with for Bronwyn, with Maeve, my little sister, who I think is um, the heart of Bronwyn, like Maeve is really the reason why she wants to do well um because she made this promise in the book that if i do everything right um she would live you know mm. um so little things like that that really spark um the empathy and the imagination to embark on this um crazy journey the relationship between your two characters is a favorite among fans did you know that heading into this project did that bring any added pressure um i think like <laughs> <laughs> Once, once we read the book, I feel like we, we realized the kind of caliber of the, the fan base of Bronwyn and Nate. I mean, I, I read the book before, literally like a couple of days before having my producer session for, um, for the show. And so reading that, I think the pressure was on. It was like, and the scenes we had to do was, were like a, were a Bronwyn and Nate scene. And, and, um, and oh man, I'm, you know, we just... <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited to like have this you know the for people to see what we've kind of brought to screen here yeah, yeah i think at, at this point i do feel a little bit of pressure for you know people to like what we've created but um um i don't blame them because i'm a nate Wynn fan and i want right. to see nate Wynn flourish and be done in the you know right way and do the book justice and I hope that we've done that for people. Um, I think I did, like, I, I just remember reading the book after I um, knew I had the role or was offered the role and just loving it so, so naturally and right off the bat. Mm. And so I understand why people love them so much and why they can't wait to see their their pair on screen. And um, I also can't wait for them to to see this universe and, yeah. and you know, what we've been working so hard at for, for some time now. Yeah. You're adapting characters from a popular novel to the screen. Is it a challenge to, to find that balance between paying homage to the original source material, but also making these characters your own? Yeah, I think I think it, it, it is 
sometimes you do have to be careful with how you go about playing a beloved character in a book. Um, but again, like the book was such a great source source material to kind of pull from. I mean, you know, uh, specifically like in the book, Nate would kind of lean back on, on his chair. And so I kind of brought that into the, into my, my character development and, and the show. And, uh, and yeah, just being able to pull from the book was, was, was really amazing to have. Um, but also kind of bringing a difference to it too and bringing like a bit of you into it, a bit of ourselves into it. And, yeah. and I think, you know, having such a great relationship with Marianne Lee, we were able to do that with Rowan and Nate. We kind right. of where we just bring ourselves yeah, into it and yeah. just like riff and, and, and have fun and then and play as well and not kind of think too much about the pressure of, of the book. That's just, that's so true. And um I think also having such good guidance, you know, in our directors and our producers and our showrunner Dario um yeah. was just a great, you know, thing to have because we're not alone in this journey and um, we, you know, were hired because an element of ourselves, uh, matched, um, the characters, I believe. So honoring that was also important, but just trusting the people that we were working with creatively was, was a big part of that. And, and I know, you know, that, that people will enjoy the results because I, I have only great things to say about every creative involved in this, in this show. True. Yeah. And then final question for the two of you. Social media plays such a huge role in this show. If you had to describe this series in a hashtag, what would it be? Um, uh, hashtag one crazy roller coaster ride. I hope I didn't steal that. I know, no, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and say it, but hashtag one of us is lying. <laughs> <laughs> this there is, is no better hashtag hey, than, the, you know. At the core of it, that's, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of, or maybe hashtag all of us are lying. <laughs> maybe Everybody. one or the two, one or the two. <laughs>